Before I, I talk about my reaction to the President's Council's um, uh, presentation today, I just want to say one thing about the attacks on Lieutenant Colonel Vindman and the questioning of his loyalty to this country. It is a soldier's duty to carry out the missions and the orders that he has given, but it also is his duty to question unlawful orders and to speak up when he thinks that something is wrong. Sen and some of my colleagues have attacked him because he did what he thought was right. That is not acceptable. That is un-American. You know, Ambassador Taylor served with honor in Vietnam, and he, I think, also remembers a lesson about people who carried out orders that were unlawful. The My Lai La Massacre is one of those lessons. So let me make it clear. You may not agree with the witnesses, but we do not attack them, and we do not attack especially a combat veteran's service and dedication and duty to this country. With that said, America is about freedom and justice. We are about what is right. I've served on a jury. I've been a jury foreman in a trial. And one of the things that we had in a jury were witnesses and documents. And both sides were able to present their case. I would think that the President's counsel and the President's team would want to call witnesses in order to exonerate him, that they would want to show us the evidence that proves his innocence. Instead of this, this is what we get, highly redacted statements from members of his administration that we cannot even read what's under there. Show us, show us the evidence that proves the President's innocence. Many people are getting their news solely on Fox News and are not getting the full story of the trial because they're not even airing the trial. I think those folks would want to see witnesses and hear from the witnesses and hear and see the cross-examination. That's the American thing to do. You get to face your accusers, you get to bring your documents, your witnesses, and you get to make your case. Well then let's do it. The final presenter this morning talked about how rushed the House trial was at 70 plus days, and that it was such a rush to get to the end because we wanted to go home for Christmas. Well, then let's not rush this process. Let's go ahead and take the time and let American democracy work so that the rest of the world can see that in America, no one is above the law, but also in America, everyone gets a chance to present their witnesses get a chance to have their say. Let's show that to the world, what America and American justice about, is about. After all, we have the absolute pers right person presiding right now, the Chief Justice of the United States Supreme Court. Who better? When is the better time? Now is the time. Let's have witnesses. Let's have the full documents.